Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Valkyria Chronicles. Today we're starting chapter 3 with 1A? I just call it 1, 2, 3. Why 1-A? In one March dash A? 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. You want me to press something? Yes! Matt yes you do. Commander of the Gallian Invasion Front built his army around mobile armor. Gundams? Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Oh, tanks. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Okay, so the town fell under two hours. Understandable. Small village. But at the same time, did any of the other villages have a tank and killed a bunch of their soldiers? Randgrees, Gallia's capital. Randgrees? A town secure and stable since ancient times. Until the within Titans showed up. Stood the castle Randgrees, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Cordelia, ah, Buffy the Vampire. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. Okay. Not uncommon in other countries. Not even America, really. Well, except for the mandatory military. We haven't had a draft in a long... since, I think, World War II. No, 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 no. Vietnam. N yes? Jonas, you're American. You should know your own history. Shh! So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. Very blue. I feel like that would stand out. I should get changed before reporting in. Better well, yeah. Right now. If you're reporting for duty, yes, you should be in uniform. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Time to go hiking. Everything you need for a nice oh jeez <laughs> welcome can I come in I guess sure it's open oh you're already changed too let's see wait is your armor different not bad not bad you look good actually really hugs the butt so how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? You kind of look very the same. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Uh, he probably is. Of course not. You look tough. I like it. I can only see your head, and it really it kind of... Even the glimpse that I saw of you, it looked kind of the same. I think there was more red. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. Well, you do have these long shoulder pads. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleoptered exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Never say that again. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? Yeah, you, you, you just compared her to a beetle, dog. That's not good. What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a buck? Huh? Not just any bug, a rhinoceros beetle. Oh, King more. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Or you could just ignore him for the rest of your life. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Oh, the, the, the headgear? The bandana thingy? Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. See, you missed an opportunity to say I spent busting my buns making buns. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. I don't know if she's gonna put a 
Never mind. Never mind. I was going to put a bun in the oven joke, but I can't stop giggling at my own humor. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. And new... Oh. Wait, what? Okay... I guess if you want to see the... the smaller parts? Of the first part? That's weird. Sure. Squad 7 is born! Come in. I do dig the Excuse comic me, book font. That guy has a very square head. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Malkiot. What choker also is that on duty. Welks? I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Yo, Caps. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. Well, that was fast. You'll Jeez, be what? leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Malkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Who are you? Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Faldio? Faldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. I thought it was mandatory. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other. Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. A squad of nerds. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That's a weird hat. For now, there's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Bye. Um, we got a gun, didn't we? Oh, we actually have a menu. Holy crap. Uh, develop new weaponry, command room, choose member. Okay. What? Okay, don't change equipment. Yeah, sure. So this is Welkins. He's a tank boy. Can I leave the tank? Oh, that... Weapon sucks. Is this what the Empire is using and we're losing? I mean, yeah, sure, it's a little bit better versus like all the other crap, but its range is awful. Actually, it's not that bad. Its aim is pretty bad. It does have infinite ammo, which is pretty dope. Mags? Who? Bridget? Bridget Stark? I don't, I don't know what the shock trooper. All right, sure. And there's lock. What about the uh, the people we just saw? Faldio. Hold up. Likes. Alicia, Juno, Audrey. Largo, Cherry. Who the hell's Cherry? I don't know any of these people. You're a lancer. Oh, you one of those dudes that had the lance thing with the tank? The hell are these? Nature lover, calm heart. I I don't know. Her potential info. Okay, country bred. Maternal. When any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all all of her ability. Okay. Desert allergy. Understandable. I know someone that hates sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Uh, plowing through oncoming fire by sheer force of will, she takes less than damage trying to set fire. Fixes her. She just can't abandon her fellow shock troopers if any are nearby. Her abilities are enhanced. Wait, what? Hold up. I thought your name was Bridget, but it says Rosie over there. You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't even. Don't. Don't worry. Child of nature. Uh, okay. Loyal teammate. Big hearted. Sure. Can't change anything else. Sure, let's leave. 
And I guess choose the members. Sure. Uh, the the Lance of Gallia. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Hi. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. All right. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Alicia has that symbol, I think, right? Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Okay, so Alicia is, ha, has the higher kill count than all of us right now, so I'm going to have to probably tone that down a bit. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to... Oh, wait, she has armor now, though. Clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Okay. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Sounds like my type of character. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Dope. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. Unless I have a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Yeah, that's convenient, all right. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Oh, they have limited ammo? Oh, okay. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna want some of those. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers. Oh crap, there's mines? Repair towers? Well, we'll probably get introduced to those later. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. They're, they're, they're the support class. I get it. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Well, you you do wear glasses. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. 20? There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. I don't think that's how the army works, but all right. Okay, so we start with three, which is a shock trooper, a lancer, and a scout. So Alicia is a scout. Um, let's come down and grab us a support. Herbert? Fatalist? What the hell is Fatalist? Okay, don't take that guy, knowing how I play. Dallas, you are adorable, Dallas. Get on the team. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Claudia Man. You know what? I have to take this one because they they remind me of my youth. Marina Wolfstem, at your command. All right, we should probably go to the golf club later. Oh, we got two snipers, huh? Well, I'm gonna take both of them then. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. Well, top of the morning to you too. So twenty, uh, open slots fourteen. Well, let's come and grab. Hold up. I just saw someone that caught my attention, and then I pressed the... What?
Yeah. The name's Vice Engelbar. I know. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Did this... Was, was this game made by the same company? Apparently Sega published Skies of Arcadia. So yeah, it's uh... The people that developed Skies of Arcadia I think went out of business like years ago. I think. Um, I... There might be more, actually. Uh, Skies of Arcadia people in this game. Um, I... I haven't played that game in a long, long time. You know what? Yeah. I, th I thought that said child killer for a second. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. Sure. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's like... There might be just more. I, I can't remember all the characters. Obviously, I remember... Uh, Vice. Sorry about the weird cuts today. My, We just had a thunderstorm. And my dog has been under my desk all day, and sometimes he'd like to just come up and cause crap. Anyways, yeah, I remember him because he's like the main character of the game. Um, but there might be other characters I just can't remember. It's been a long, extremely long time. Metalhead, huh? Um, yeah, let's get some shock troopers. Salinas Milton, at your service. Was that a shock trooper? Yeah, it was. Um, you know what? You're goofy looking. Yeah, nice to meet you. Don't be too scared. We're just gonna go die. Juno. Fancy's men. Okay. You have a band-aid on your face. Why? You know, Ted, you look absolutely thrilled to be here. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Okay, don't actually ever talk to me again. Oh, you're you're actually the one that caught my eye. That Mohawk is hey, amazing. I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. Do I need to fill this slot? Like the slots? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Likes no one. Woman after my own heart. Paul analogy, that's not good. I guess I could just get more. I'm, I don't know. What more do we need? Lancers. We need more Lancers. Uh, you are very old, so get in the party. Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just. Probably not. Uh, Hector. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, Niles, Camp Defender. I keep pressing the button over on my uh, stick, my whatever the hell stick it's called, and it keeps jutting the list down. Frail body, no thank you. Should probably get some more engineers, right? Carl, get in here. My name's Carl Lanzett, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. Nadine? Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Oh, okay. I mean, you're the support, so I was kind of hoping you would help us. My name is Rosina Selden. Hi, Rosina. With you guys as of today. Sure. Hi, I'm Aisha Newman. Nice to meet you, Mr. Walker. All right, I regret actually recruiting you instantly. Eddie. Edie, whatever. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Well, how would I ever hear of you? How many? Of what? I got a lot of lances. Got a. We don't have. We don't have any more snipers available. I have three scouts. Got a bunch of shock troopers. I'm probably gonna not even use half these people. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. I think. Um. Let's get another engineer. I'm not getting a pessimist or a fatalist anymore. Shut in? Yeah, sure, that's relatable. Hello, I'm Claudia Mann. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I don't really have high ones. Well, feel like you've struck a balance. God, I hope so. Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. Okay. 
As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. Okay. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Oh. Okay, so they... You can swap out don't without the worry of losing the level up individually? Okay. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work with. That is the worst advice you could give me. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Sure. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. I mean, I did probably spend way too much time looking at that list. Come to think of it. Valdio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I guess. I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I would imagine if he's the head, I'm yes. Get a move on. Training field. Uh, sure. Welcome to your worst nightmare. You have bees I'm around here? Who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape? Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. Like literally, or just like use those experience points up there? Use. Level you bums up. Yeah. But don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. I'm the star. You will train as a class. And level up by class. Scout level two. Scout level three. You get it? Sure. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. I wish, like, real military worked this way. You hear me, Magnus? Might actually stand a chance in it. If any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now. All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. Please do. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight, then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. You are really close right now, dog. I'm not sure if you know that. Train all you want. I've got all day. Okay. Well, I got... 2700 like experience points can I not level up my tank I call shenanigans level up that engineer level up that scout level up this shock trooper level up this lancer and level up this sniper I got no use for tears sweat 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 damn right they all leveled up To human. <laughs> okay. Looks like that set could beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Oh, that's a shame. Looks like that set could beat a new potential out of the snipers. Okay. All two of them? Okay, now the experience has jumped up. Uh let's see. Well, let's level up engineers. And you know what? Let's level up scouts. Okay, and then we'll save our experience for future use. Maggots, you're one level closer to human. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Wait, what do you mean? Learn defense boost. This order raises one ally. Okay. Goodbye. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Sure. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. Yeah, you know, you just said that. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Y yeah, we just got that too. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Evade boost. Thank you. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. 
They can save your tail. How do I level up as a squad leader, though? It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that and you do not respect personal space. Into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. All right. Uh, one. Cool. Two. What about this stuff? Welcome to R and D, man. What can I do you for? I don't know. Upgrade my crap or give me new stuff. Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Yeah, I'm pretty popular. I knew it, man. I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just wow. It was pretty impressive. You're right. Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter. Man. I mean, Alicia's not that tiny. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out. It's Lieutenant Gunther. He's the man, man. Are you guys high? <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. Hi, Kreese. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. I, I really don't need a boy, Leon. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? Uh, it says something about, like, getting better equipment here. We do work here on weapons development. Making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. Give me machine rifles. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. I'll put it on the army's tab. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models. So everyone gets updated, uh, upgraded, I'm assuming. You won't have to worry about yeah. making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Okay. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to say that slowly so you understand. Of the operation at hand. Oh, fitting tanks. Development work on tanks happen in the form of body enhancement treads and weak point improvements and attack support. Body enhancements mostly reinforce the gun barrel and the body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given to the best body type you can uh, you have developed. Uh, you decide whether to favor attack or defense, and altering body types gives you it gives your tank a different outward appearance. Uh, improvement to the treads and weak points and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to tanks to enhance their abilities. Each part has a set size and blocks. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity of the Eldwise. Vise? Eldvise? Sure. Pick the optional parts that best suit your personal combat style. Running gun. Got it. Uh, weapons? Sniper rifles. Can I just develop a new one? That's the hand grenades. Oh, we just do... Uh, okay, okay, okay. So I can't actually develop new weapon weapons. Is that right? I actually have to... Uh, crap, I did not mean that! No, you didn't do anything. Oh my god. That's like every science movie quote I've ever heard. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Right, I actually am coming back immediately. Because I wanted to upgrade stuff. And I didn't. So, develop weapons. I'll start with rifles. It's 500. Yes. Here you go, bro. Thanks. Anything worth damage-wise, or... Um, sure. Mm. You know, yeah, we'll do this one. Absolutely. All set. Because we, 
Just in case we don't have a tank. Uh, sniper rifle, sure. How much uh, damage on that? I don't know, five here? Sure, upgrade the sniper rifle. We can. Oh, okay. Can't upgrade that one either. Uh, uniform upgrade. All set for you. So yeah, not there yet. Okay, so... I have a set amount that I can actually upgrade right now. And... I have to wait for everything else. Okay, so... Here? Do armor. Definitely do armor. Actually, one second. Treads. Hmm. Definitely use that. Sure. There you go, dog. And barrel protection, frontal armor. I'm more worried about the rare armor, to be quite honest. Put that right there, I guess. Where was that about the... Uh, I can't afford that. Outfit tank. Where's the body on this one? I guess we can't do that just yet. Uh, I'm going to save the rest of my money and... Soon, bro. I mean it, man. Yeah. I guess go back to book mode? Sure. When's the next combat? Headquarters tab is now available. Okay. But headquarters. On the Galleon Millhurst base, uh, you can use the experience points and funds you've acquired to battle train your troops. Higher levels are developed uh, or develop new weaponry. Stopping by before combat or after an op once you've acquired more resources is a good idea. Open the menu with the Y button and pick headquarters from the tab select menu to visit the base's facility. As you progress through the game, new destinations around the base will become available to you as you as well. Okay. Um the flare gun? Are we gonna get to a mission today? I don't know. Is chapter three just cutscenes? Welks. There you are. I've been looking for you. You don't have to salute me. I'm your brother. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. Sounds good. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. Sounds like that would be heavy. It's used to oh, you got a car. Tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. Sounds like you guys should search for alternate energy sources. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galleon soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. It isn't. There's a very tiny flare gun. Another hand me down. Wow, don't sound so freaking grateful, dog. I gave it a once over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. Uh, I didn't mean. Uh, I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this. E I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. But like combat? A new episode has been added. Oh, it looks like Five's combat down there. Hopefully, it's a map. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The 
Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. Couldn't you just, like, raise the bridge? That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreaves. Our mission is to take it back. I feel like right now would be a good place to raise the bridge. But I guess they probably killed everyone already, right? The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Okay. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. Oh my lord. How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. Yeah, so you're either going to betray us or I'm going to have to kill you somehow. It's not like there'll be much help. Shoot him now. I don't care. More help perhaps than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Oh, I like her. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. I'm going to go waddle out of here. Who was that? A jerk. General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Man, so demon. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. So, aka, okay, he's an ass. That doesn't make any sense. You're right. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Galia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? Okay, so we're not it's actually us. in the army army. We're in the militia. Okay. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. Yeah. We'll begin by taking back the western bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning squad... Does the militia to... have... It's your first ranks? Maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Sure. A new episode been added. What's the time looking like? About skirmishes. Unlike those within the main storyline, the battle the battles found under the skirmish tab can be played a number of times. Uh, perfect for amassing experience and resource fees. Try them if you're feeling underpowered. Oh, okay. Press the Y button to open the menu, then choose skirmishes from the tab select. Okay, new skirmishes are added as you progress to the main plot, and the difficulty of each skirmish can be set freely. Just be careful, though. Not though not a plot battle. Soldiers lost during skirmishes still die. So all oh, soldiers permanently die. Oh, I gotta be careful. The new battle skirmish. Okay. How do we, how do we do that? Uh, tab select skirmish. Oh, a lot. Uh, oh, so oh, okay. So they're just like repeats. Oh, okay, man. I'll just do one of those off screen or something in the future. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. So this has been a long cutscene episode, and I'm not sure how long this battle is gonna take. So I'm actually just gonna call the episode here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet. Want to add my video section? Check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're interested to watch me live stream, head to twitch.tv slash Kronosplays, give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.